Okay, so in this video, we'll be working with Google Forms and we'll walk through the process of creating a form and getting the results to a spreadsheet. Going forward in later videos, we'll go into like creating more complicated forms and analyzing the results from those spreadsheets. But for now, let's get started with some basic things. So I'm in a folder on Google Drive. If you don't know how to get there, simply go to drive.google.com and that will get you to Google Drive and you'll need a Google account. Gmail account is a Google account. You can use a really any Google account would do. So I have a folder in my drive and this is where I'm going to create my forms and spreadsheets. So first I'm going to create a spreadsheet to hold the results from the form. I'm going to right click here, go under Google Sheets, arrow blank spreadsheet. I'm going to name this on top. I'm going to call this form results. Hit enter. That's all I need to do here. I'm going to close this. Here it is. New spreadsheet. Creating a spreadsheet is not mandatory, but for most cases, you're probably going to want to store your results in a spreadsheet. So we'll just go with this. Now I'm going to right click, go under more Google forms, and I'm going to do a blank form. So here I have a blank form. I'm going to name this form. On top here, I'm going to call this my form. We can write some description of what this form is all about. So a couple of things we need to do. First, we need to connect this form to that spreadsheet to store our results. And the second thing we're going to do is to add an email field so people can actually add their emails. So adding an email field is different than any other field. For that reason, let's get that first and then we'll do the rest after that. To do this, I'm going to go under here under the settings icon. I'm going to click on that. And here I'm going to click collect email address. You can also check this box if you want people to get responses they enter in the form as an email to them. I don't want it, so that's fine. And for now, I'm just going to keep everything else as usual and just hit save. So now we have this field for our email address. The second thing we're going to do is connect our spreadsheet. So I'm going to go under responses. And here on the right, I'm going to go under this arrows and here we can do select response destination. Here we could create a new spreadsheet, but we can just also create select existing spreadsheet and it's select and then go select that spreadsheet we had selected in our drive. So I'm going to click select and then select the spreadsheet, hit select. And here we go. That spreadsheet is linked to accept our responses. Now we're going to go back to our questions and start building this form. So you probably want to redesign your form to start with. So this is the design you're going to get. So to change the design, we're going to go under this customized theme icon on top right. Click on that. We can choose an image for this top panel, which you probably should do to make this look decent. So I'm going to click choose image and pick an image from my computer. So I'm going to do upload photos. And then if you have your photo, you can just drag it right here. So I'm going to grab this image and drag and drop it right there. Then you can obviously resize this and fit that. good enough for me and hit select then we'll select the color theme I'm just gonna do white for this whole thing but you can do anything you want so you can pick obviously one of this available colors or you can also hit add custom color and choose your own color I'm just gonna go with white 
hit add and then light white background good for me you can also change the font see that's the basic font if you don't like this font you can change to a different font I'm gonna keep the basic font that's good for me I'm gonna hit close a little bit of customization once in a while you may want to see what this is gonna look like for the users so you want to just go ahead and click on this preview icon and this is what this form is gonna look like so I'm gonna close this here we need to add some additional fields so to add additional fields you go to the right here see this plus icon that's gonna add a new question see that's another question then once you add the question you need to choose what type of box you need for this there are a lot of different options here so I want somebody to type their name that will be something like short answer so the question is gonna be your name and then we want to say is this required field or not so that's gonna be required we could also see this one was available already below I can move them around so you can change the order of your questions by doing things like this for me that's fine your name first I'm gonna do another answer so again if you want just a text field you do short answer if you want something longer you can do paragraph but for now I'm gonna ask them what kind of spreadsheet application they like to use so that's gonna be multi-choice or check boxes depending whether I want to have just one possible answer result or multiple so let me give you an example so if I go under multi-choice or drop down it's gonna allow them to only choose one option so I'll go here and I'm going to say your favorite spread sheet application this shouldn't be short answer this should be multi-choice and option one is going to be Google Sheets we're gonna add another option Excel add another option numbers so let's see what this looks like so I'm gonna go under preview here it is email your name and now they have these options to choose Google Sheets Excel numbers and they can only choose one now I could also do choose one option if I select drop down let's take a look now they'll have to choose one of these I'm gonna go back to multi-choice again this is one of those with multi-choice you can also give them an option to give a different answer other than the ones you already have so you can do this add other what that's going to do now if I preview see they can choose one of those three or they can do other and type an answer for this I'm gonna close that leave is this required sure I'm gonna make it required question let's add another question to this and this time let's do check boxes check boxes is when you want the user to be able to choose more than one option which spreadsheet so option one option two add other good enough so let's take a look see now they have this options so in the first case they can only choose one of these but in this case you can also have multiple answers for this question so this is where you start using checkboxes and this should be required so let's also add some comment box so we're gonna click plus add another question here and this is gonna be paragraph for this I'm not gonna make it required 
so let's take a look so here's our form we have email box name box we have our application and if they try to submit see there's validation comments I didn't make it required so it doesn't say anything for everything else we need to provide some answer here we go hit submit it says your response has been recorded and then it gives you this option to submit another response so how do we change that final message that says your response has been recorded so we go under settings and here we're going to go under presentation see show link to submit another response that was the link we saw below if you don't want it you want to uncheck it and then this is the confirmation we can also go back here and limit to a single response from one person if you do this it will require the person to log in with a Google account to be able to actually fill up and send the form and that should do this so now we should have a form so once you have your form you're happy with your form you can use now this form by clicking the send button and you could just email it and ask people to fill it up and you can also include the form itself in your email or you could just create this link and copy the link and send people the link you can also do the short version of that and when people go to this URL it's just gonna be the form you can also embed it in your HTML by going under embed form that will give you this iframe HTML you can change the size as you can see copy paste in your HTML and the form is gonna be inside of your web page or wherever you want this to be and that's pretty much it the form is ready to go so now let's go take a look at our drive so this is our Google Drive we have the form we built and we have our form results so if I go back and open the spreadsheet see those responses I entered were recorded in the spreadsheet we have the timestamp we have email everything we basically had in our form and here we have this tab called form responses one that's good we want to keep it that way and then this other tab we don't really need we could just get rid of it and that should do it for a basic form link to a Google spreadsheet thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video